Hello there, motor test of the week, and um, this week I'm just going to be testing uh, this motor because uh, I want to give it a test before hopefully I get round to um, putting it on a plane. Um, it's another drone racing motor. It's a uh, RC, was it RC in power or whatever it is? Uh, QAV 2206 1900 kV. Um, they're a pretty good price. They're pretty cheap. I've uh, got a bit of money off at the, at the moment and um, yeah I thought I'd give this a try because I need to I want this to turn a little bit bigger prop with this one so uh, that's why I got the 1900 kV version um, it's not going to be for a very fast plane hopefully it's going to be a bit more aerobatic um, so let's have a look at the specs uh, it's for 3 to 4 S uh, the motor weighs 29 grams. Uh, it's rated to 270 watts and a max current of 18 amps. Um, there are some little uh, specs here for motor tests. Uh, they're using HQ props. I don't have any HQ props that I know of. Um, they've got some little figures here, um, none of which are sort of maxed out at the uh, full capacity of this motor, so um, <coughs> let's see what um, results I can get and uh, compare these to uh, these figures. Um, I think the max they've got here is a HQ6045 on 4S at 100%. Uh, it says it's reading 16.9 amps and 792 grams of thrust at 250 watts. So that's the max that they've got um, shown for that. Um, so uh, yeah, it comes with some screws, but they're not countersunk. So um, I was using a little X style mount. Uh, so I couldn't use those because they weren't countersunk, but I've got I've got a load of them anyway. Uh, it doesn't come with any connectors, uh, but like I said, it does fit an X mount on the uh, bolt hole pattern, and comes with a little dome nut. So uh, yeah, the the plane I've got um, for this I bought this all quite a while ago. Uh, I got mine off Robot Birds. Um, I think I got maybe the last one of these that they had it's a F15 Eagle um, and it's a EPP model it's quite basic um, probably doesn't look quite as good as it does in the picture <laughs> but um, yeah they seem pretty decent um, it recommends up to a, a, an 80 watt motor um, obviously I'm going to be running a lot more than that um, it's just three cells. Um, I've got my cousin. He had a, an F27 version of this, and um, it went all right. And he was just running two cells. Um, so they're pretty good, pretty decent models. Uh, I will be testing the motor on slightly bigger batteries, but um, it says capacity of 1,250 milliamp batteries. So I have to see what I'll be putting in it, might be putting in a 1300 or something um, and it, re yeah, it recommends an 8x6 GWS prop um, but I, was, yeah, I don't think I'll be putting a prop that's quite that big on it, it'll be a bit smaller but it'll be spinning faster so um, should have decent power uh, these yeah, it says flying weight 250 to 350 grams. Uh, flying weight might, might, might end up a bit heavier than that. Um, and they've got a 580 millimeter wingspan. It's got some pictures here of how it looks. And that's all the parts that come. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a build job. But hopefully, I'll get around to doing that. So, um, I thought. One of these little drone racing motors would um, be perfect for that. Hang on, there we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> Didn't realise that wasn't in shot then. 
Yeah, so uh Hopefully the little drone racing motors will be perfect for these sorts of uh you know aerobatic foam planes. So uh yeah, let's get this on the stand and give it a test. Okay, here we are. Uh first prop I'm gonna be using is a Dow prop fifty forty five. I think it's a 5045 um, and free cell I'm going to use is a Rhino 2250 milliamp or a 25C three cell and uh, so let's give this a test on three cell first let's see what we get let's turn the light on King 30 amp ESC. Why do we say pulling 9 amps? <laughs> and the voltage dropped hardly at all. Right, let's give that a test on 4 cell. Okay, still on the same prop. Uh, the battery for this using is a Turnergy 2200 milliamp uh, 40C 4 cell. So uh, let's see what we get on the 4 cells. Watts. That's right. Right, let's try the next prop. Okay, this is a Hobby King 5x4 three bladed prop. I'm um, still on the three cell. Let's uh, give this a test. <laughs> Test that on four cell, still on the four cell, well, using the same four cell, still on the same prop. That's, that's actually near the limit <laughs> that prop is for four cell it's not too bad there's no temperature in the motor all right let's try the next prop okay this is a gem fan six by three and i'm on three cell let's give this a test
bad. Alright, let's see how it does on four cell. Alright, got the four cell plugged in. Let's see how we do on thrust on that. prop okay this is a TGS uh, 6x3 prop um, back on the 3 cell Let's see what we get here Okay, here we are. Full cell plugged in. Just nudge the key lower thrust then. Oh, here a little. It's a bit over though. Nineteen and a half amps, three hundred and twelve watts. Yeah, that still seems cool. It's not a bad prop. All right, let's see what else we got to try. Okay, this is a Hobby King uh, six by four point five ball nose prop. Uh, it's probably going to be drawing a lot more current so uh, let's be careful where we go with this one uh, back on three cell Three cell. So, uh, don't think I'll be testing that one on four cell. That's drawing way more current, that is. Right, so move straight over to the next prop, I think. Okay, this is a 6x4 TGS prop. Um, might be a bit much on the four cell, but uh, let's give it a test first on three cell. Yeah, I'm on the three cell. Let's give it a run. Watts. So let's give this a try on the four. Okay, still on the same prop. Got the four cell all plugged in. Let's give this one a try. Might be a bit much. Over. <laughs> 
any lamps. Three hundred and thirty-five watts. Just for the temperature gauge. It's thirty-six degrees there. Thirty-six degrees. Uh, what is it in there? It is twenty-two degrees in there. A little bit over. Right, I've got another prop to try. Right, now I have an APC 6x4 electric prop. Uh, still on the 3 cell. Um, unlike the TGS, um, you can get uh, clockwise and counterclockwise uh, versions of the APC prop. Uh, you can't do that on the TGS, they're only counterclockwise. So you can get normal rotation and reverse rotation props on the APC. Uh, but let's give this a try. That's thrust there. Three watts. That's right. Okay, let's try the four cell. I think it probably will be a bit over. Okay, still with the APC prop, and now I've got the four cell plugged in. Seven degrees. Alright, so I don't think I'll be pushing it with that prop. Uh, right, so I've got one more prop to test. Uh, this is the prop I'm hoping I'm using. Okay, this is the uh, prop I'm hoping to use in the F15, um, although it will be with a much smaller battery. <laughs> Um, this is a Hobby King 7035. Uh, yeah, yeah, white. They're just called white props. They come in a pack of five. They're dirt cheap. Um, they seem pretty good, but I did have to modify it quite a bit. I had to cut um, a load off the back uh, because it was too long to fit the hub. Well, to fit the shaft on this motor. So the hub of the um, prop was too long to fit the shaft so I've had to cut that right down uh, which meant I couldn't use the adapters so I've had to wrap a load of sellotape around the shaft so it was centered so uh, let's give this one a try Six amps. Hmm. That's amazing. Right, so let's try that on the four cell. Right, I've got the four cell plugged in. Uh, obviously, these are bigger batteries than what I'm using. 
Uh, and I won't be using a 4 cell in the F15, I'll just be using it on 3 cell. So, uh, let's see what we get here. Kilo of frost there. Ooh, it's a bit over though. <laughs> Quite a bit over. Hmm. That prop might be a bit too much on four cell. It might be a. It might be lower amps if it was using a smaller battery. Um, so you may get away with that. Anyway. That was this uh, motor test of the week on a uh, little drum racing motor. Uh, yeah, a bit of a lower KV one. <laughs> bit of a uh, sort of small motor test to be good in a little aerobatic foamy like I'm going to be using it in anyway if you like this video yeah, please give us a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more motor tests and uh, I'll see you again next week bye bye